Right, finally managed recording this video for you on the possum distribution pack for um, the summer leagues. A lot of people have been asking what goes on when the summer, when the winter leagues finish, so the Premier League, North English leagues, major European leagues are coming to an end now, as I'm sure you're all aware. So to sort of um, time with that, I've produced the distribution pack for 20 fresh leagues. So we've got leagues in Scandinavia, in uh, Asia, and we've got 20 leagues that are competitive and uh, traditionally good for good for trading. Um, I've been through every one of them and created data packs for each one that will produce um, the win draw win statistics under two and a half over two and a half and correct scores the same as the possum pack always has. Um, the pack also now, as many will be aware, includes the draw selections, which might I add have been a bit crap lately, but. Yesterday we got three out of four, and we got a cup. I think we got two the day before as well. Um, I always said that the South American leagues um, are brilliant for the draws, and also some of the Asian leagues. So I, I predict that that's going to go from strength to strength. So you'll get those included. You also get the corner bets um, and a, a summary at the end that ties it all together to make it easy to see what's going on, really. Um, so I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for people to follow. Um, and in this video I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what it looks like and it's also going to include, if you watch until the end, um, the bets for tomorrow. So I've just finished doing the bets for tomorrow, um, all of the selections, all the possum pack, the draws and the corners and the summary and it's all going to be included in this video. So normally it will be behind a paywall for members but because I want to show people what's going on because there's been some changes. Uh, I'm going to release it and you can feel free to jot down the, the, the selections and sort of see, see how it suits you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience with me uh, recording these videos. If you could uh, like and subscribe, it will really help me out. Um, and yeah, thanks very much. I hope you enjoy it and see you later. Right then, should we have a look at the leagues quickly that are covered in the summer pack now? Um, we've got Argentina. Australia, Brazil, A and B, Colombia, A and B, Chile, A and B, Finland, Ireland, Japan, J League One and J League Two, Iceland, Mexico, Norway, South Korea, Sweden, two the first two leagues in Sweden, Uruguay and the USA. So that's twenty leagues, uh, twenty new unique leagues, apart from Australia, which we're carrying over, which still is causing problems. Um, because some teams still haven't, I think it is Brisbane actually, we're playing today, I tried to, tried to use Brisbane, still haven't, they've only played one game at home, so we haven't got enough data to use for the for the Possum, but it's still in there, and some of the fixtures will work, and I'll include those ones, the ones that don't, we've just got to wait for the, the data to catch up if you like. So, yeah, so we've got all the data for those leagues all up and running and ready. Uh, as you can see, we've got the win, draw, win, and we've got the under two and a half and the correct scores, which we've had in the pack um, from the start. Um, the leagues are all at slightly different stages, so that's worth being aware of. Um, some of them are a little bit early on to be drawing too many conclusions. If we have a look at um, sofa score, I pin I pin the leagues that I'm interested in uh, on my homepage here, so I can go through and keep an eye on them. So uh, if we have a look, for example. We know about the established ones, which are, well, I'll show you in a minute, are still in there. Uh, Chile, let's have a look at Chile, for example. Yeah, okay, so we've got over 10 games in Chile, so that's good. I think most of the South American ones are just up to speed now, uh, and they're actually included in the the draw selections as well, because there's enough data. So, yeah, so 19 in, in Colombia. It's the some of the European ones, the SOCs, the Swedish league has only had less than 10 games played still. So when you break that down to teams playing home and away, they've only had like two or three home games, two or three away games. It's not really great uh, data set to be using just yet. Korea's up and running nicely. I won't go through all of them, but Argentina is around the same. So most of them are at the sort of 12, 13, 14 level in South America and Asia. Um, but the European ones, so this is the other Swedish league, are less than 10. So the Scandinavian leagues are still sort of getting up to speed. So when you are looking at the the data for the Scandinavian leagues, which we'll see in a minute, you just have to bear that in mind that it's maybe not quite as sort of reliable maybe as um, it is for some of the other leagues. So let's have a look at to, today, what, tomorrow's selections then. So nice and early, I've just done this ready for members. 
Um, and the, the data is going to be available much earlier now in the day because a lot of the kickoffs are obviously going to be sort of in the middle of the night uh, with the South American games. Uh, a lot of kickoffs around mid, midnight and sort of one o'clock. So I'm getting everything out by five o'clock each day to make sure that you're ready for that. I'm going to be a lot more organised. Uh, I've got my schedule sorted. I've got a little routine going and everything's everything's up and running. And I'm, I'm happy with it. So by five o'clock, all members will have had um, an email just letting them know to, to check the website and the website will be updated. And this is exactly what you get. So I'm just going to show you this is a little peek into, into how it's sort of formatted at the moment. So the first tab... We've got the draw selections from the MBM draw system. So this is live data, so you can note this down if you want anyone who's not a member, um, and you can have a look at the format of it to see see if it suits you. So the MBM draw selections for tomorrow. So these are from these are unique to the Poisson. It's not part of the Poisson pack. This is my own uh, filter system that I've had for a long time, but it's all included in the same package. So it's got its own tab here. So as you can see, for the tenth, so we've got a game in Chile, um, and we've got. You know the 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 two two teams and the odds that are currently on Betfair or were when I recorded the bet. Um, they're the odds that you're looking at, looking at there. So we've got a game in Chile. Um, we've got a Spanish La Liga game between Valencia and Betis, and we've got one in Argentina. Uh, Primera C. What a great name, Excursionistas. I love that name. Um, quite low odds there, so quite high expensive a draw, I guess. Um, so yeah, we've got that. Then tomorrow we've got a game in Argentina, uh, Banfield, and we've got the value bet here would be a Banfield win, if you if you wanted to take that level of value uh, and over the under. So it's fairly you know fairly established in the Argentinian league. Chile, uh, which we've just looked at, actually came up on the draw selections. So this is where sometimes people can get a little bit confused, and I understand why. Um, it it kind of I wish they all lined up or my my systems uh, lined up, but they don't. Um, so I've got this down as a draw from the draw selection. And to be fair, the the Poisson's coming out three point one seven, which is decent odds for a, you know it's quite low for a draw. So that's sort of quite high expectancy for a draw really. But it's um it's also saying that Audax are, are sort of favourites. So the value would be there because you're not getting the value in the draw. You should be getting three point one seven and higher. Uh, and it's actually at three point one five at the moment, but that's pretty close. So it, you know it does tie in a little bit with the MBM draw selection. But I don't use this to uh, to influence it. Anyway, yep. So we've got a game in Chile there. I left that on the screen for long enough. I think you can see uh, we've got a game in the Premier League tomorrow. Villa Liverpool, which is obviously massively important um, for the title race. So we've got sort of Liverpool showing a bit of value, and there's a bit of value on the overs. But as I'll explain, uh, and I've explained a few times. It, all value isn't necessarily uh, worth chasing after. I wouldn't suggest there's enough in that. Uh, and then we've got some games in La Liga. We've got Valencia, Betis, Granada, uh, Atleti Bilbao and Barcelona Vigo. So this is one that we'll see in the summary at the end that I think there's real value in the Betis win because Betis are chasing the Champions League and Valencia is sort of just meandering towards the end of the season. I think there's value there. Um, and you can have a little look for yourselves at what you think about. I mean, Lane Barcelona could be a route for the the Vigo game as well, which I have looked at. But it's just looking at the motivation and weighing up whether you think um, whether you think that the game will actually play out the way the stats suggest. So those games tomorrow as well, and then we've got some games in Sweden or one game in Sweden. This is very early on, as I mentioned. So perhaps perhaps not massive amounts to take from it. It gives you a guide if you really want to bet on the game. Um, I won't be using any of the games in my in my sort of value bet summary, which you'll see in a minute, uh, until they're, they're way over the, the 10 game mark because I'm more confident with them there. Uh, then we've also got some corner bets included, which is another system independent of Poisson, but something that's included. Uh, so tomorrow we've got one corner bet that comes out from my filters and that's in the Swiss Super League. And it's Young Boys versus St Gallen. And the line at the moment is on Bet365, the main line is over 11 corners. At, I think it's like 2.37, but I don't like to go over 11. I like to go over 10 if I can, if I can get decent odds. And 1.83 for over 10 corners in that game is showing good value. Um, it's a game that both both teams uh, have a lot of corners, basically. Uh, according to my filter, uh, their home and away uh, stats suggest that this should be this should be a good game for corner. So 1.83, I'd be happy to take over 10. If you did want to take a bit more of a risk, 
and go for some over evens then you could go for the over 11 at 2.37 i think it was um so that that's up to you then the value bet summary so this is something that i include as well it looks slightly different now um this is just a wrap, wrapping up everything that's in the previous tabs really and i'm going to be sending this as a sort of pdf or as a spreadsheet or just copy and paste into the body of the email each day for members so that if you do just want to sort of trust what i've put in the in, in the sheet um rather than going through it all and checking it out and going through the individual tab if you just want to see what i've picked out as value bets and all the draw selections and corners you can just come to this tab and say okay so that's where it is so We've got the draw selections as I've already discussed, just and the corner bets. And then what I like to do is with the win draw win and under two and a halves, just give a little bit of an explanation behind what I'm seeing from it because a, a few members have sort of expressed a desire for that as it's sometimes difficult to interpret. I'll, I'll sometimes talk about okay, there's value in that a little bit like with the Premier League game, it's showing up as value. So does that mean I should be betting on that? Well, my suggestion would be no. It's very slim value and it's still offering you 1.47, which is, you know, it's, in my opinion, it's not worth uh, putting money on on a, a bet at such low odds, especially when there's so much at stake and there are the away team. So it, it's value, but not real value, if you like. It's value according to the stats and hard figures. But then you've also got to sort of read a little bit into what's going on. So I'll have a look through and I'll see what I'll, I'm interested in betting on and what I, what catches my eye. So tomorrow it will be the, the game in Chile um, at under two and a half goals. So if we have a look back at that, there's decent enough value at under two and a half goals. A lot of the South American leagues start slowly and don't have tons of goals. So we're, the, the value is saying we should be getting out of about 1.3 and we're being offered 1.67, which could move before then. So I'm suggesting that I like the look of that. That could be a decent bet. Uh, Valencia, Betis, as I mentioned already, Betis chasing that Champions League spot. I like the value in a Betis win there. And so I'll just summarise my thoughts here. It's, they're not tips. It's not me um, just going on a whim and saying, oh, I quite like the look of this team or that team. It, when you see these, they'll always be backed up by the value in the sheets. It's just that they're the ones that have got value in the sheet and also a bit of logic behind them so you, you can discount some of the shorter odds. Um, so that's what I'll, I'll just do that there. I'm not suggesting everyone should follow them. It's just my thoughts and some people find them useful to, to sort of play against their own and see what's going on. So yes, yeah, so we've got that there. Then you've got the draw selections and the corner bets. And if you want more, more detail on the draw selections and the corner bets and time and the leagues, that's in their individual sheets, as you can see. It's just a, a quick roundup in the in the summary sheet, just so you can see everything in the same place. So feel free to use these uh, selections as you as you see fit for tomorrow. Um, as I say, they're they're normally members only, but I'm gonna give you a demonstration today of what what it looks like for the summer. Uh, so I just wanted to share that, and you can you can do as you will with them. Uh, see if you like the format and. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the in the comments or drop me an email. If you do drop me an email, make sure it's to the email that's on my website, which is contact at themathbetman.com. Uh, that's for members mainly because members, when you do get this sheet, it's linked to a Google account. The Google account is then linked to an email address that you can see there, but I don't use that email address. I only use contact at the Math Betman. Uh, this is just to enable the account to, to post the, the spreadsheets. And unfortunately, a few people have emailed that account and i don't check the emails on that account so people have got a little bit arsy about the fact that i haven't emailed back which i understand but that's why i try and advertise the other email address sweet so i think that's enough rambling uh i hope you enjoy the video please like and subscribe i know that sounds real spammy but it really helps me out if you do um i'm trying to sort of get the channel going so that i can make money from the ads in all honesty and then i don't have to sort of worry about the subscriptions and sort of i'm never going to raise the, raise the price anyway but it's just a way of me sort of hopefully getting paid for my time a little bit uh so yes yeah, sweet if you can do that thanks very much and uh, have a good day